Hey everyone, in this video we're looking at an application of trigonometry to angles of elevation and compression. So um, you're still going to be able to calculate uh, unknown sides and angles, however it's going to be in the context of um, elevation and depression. So IDing um, an elevation or depression question, create your right hand triangle diagram, use trig and find the answer. So here we go. So to get us started, angles of elevation um, are angles that go from the horizon and above it. So you'll always have like a straight horizontal line um, in the question and then a an angle of elevation is moving above that hor um, horizon or horizontal. So as you can see here, um, so think of it as, as I said there, you're going to go, um, you can see that you're moving and then conversely, the angles of depression are going down. So depression um, down below, and it's going from um, angle of depression of A from B. So remember that these are both a matter of perspective. So read the questions carefully, because you have two points here. But if you're getting an angle of elevation from point B, then it's going to be above B, not below B. So keep that in mind. And the last thing I want to kind of recap on is um, alternating angles. So this is a year seven concept. Um, some of you might not have used too much geometric reasoning since between then. Um, you should have, but hey. Um, and so you've got two parallel lines. This is the rule that we have here. Two parallel lines and when they're cut with a transversal. So in this case here, it just happens to not go beyond those parallel lines. These angles, are going to be equal. So if we're calling this x, this is going to be x. Now, um, and it's the same on the other side. So say this was um, 60 degrees, this is 120 degrees, y is going to be the same here. So that's what we call um, alternate angles. It's also known as the z rule, if that kind of helps you remember things. Um, righto. So that would help um, especially if you're going to get an angle and it's outside of your parameters that you've been given, you can use your alternate angle to help you um, draw your right angle triangles. Okay, so applying uh, trigonometry ratios to angles of elevation and depression. So generally the first thing you want to do is this is your plan of attack or your strategies in solving these problems. So you always want to try and if a diagram is not given to you, so draw a diagram. Um, the second is going to be label sides, so H O A. The third is going to be um, ID your angle of elevation, depression, and your trig ratio. And the four is going to be FSA, so actually doing the maths. And five is communicating in context. Cool, so there we go. Um, so that is what we're going to do here. So here's my question. I'm going to read through it, find my important information, work out what my question's asking me to do. So first thing from point P on the ground, angle of elevation. So here's some important information. Angle ooh, elevation, top of the tree is uh, 50 degrees. So that's that one. If P is 8 metres from, from the tree, then find the height. So find the height and two decimal places. So that is what I'm trying to answer here. How tall is this tree? Okay, so first of all, I'm going to, if I didn't have a diagram, I would be drawing that. We're going to make an assumption that the tree is at 90 degrees to the ground, otherwise this wouldn't work. And we are going to then assign our hypotenuse adjacent opposite. Now, this kind of diagram has come from the textbook. I don't like the idea that they've used a H here when this is a hypotenuse. So I'm going to call this T for tree. Okay, so next we're going to do is um, identify... I've drawn a diagram, or I've got a diagram. I've labeled the sides. I am now going to work out 
this is an angle of elevation so it's all good and what's my trig ratio so I've been given an A so that knocks down out the sign straight away and my angle is here opposite adjacent I'm looking at a tan question so uh, tan theta equals opposite over adjacent substitute so 10 50 opposite is going to be T over adjacent which is 8 um, use my so the opposite of dividing by 8 is multiplying by 8 and so therefore T equals 8 times 10 50 and then T equals 9 point or oh, five eight uh, five three four and I've got around to two decimal places so t equals t is approximately nine point five three meters tall so I'm going to then communicate in context um, related to this question so I'm just going to pause so I can write that without you having to watch so there it is assuming the tree is 90 degrees to the ground the tree is um, 9.53 meters tall sorry done that one here is an example of a question that hasn't been done with um, a diagram and also it's an angle of depression question so here we have Julia observes car approaching desert plain top her position on top of a 30 meter cliff so uh, oops, I'll use the same colors as I did before she's top 30 meters of the cliff the angle of depression so there's some more important information um, of the car at the instant is 47 the question is asking ask how far from the base of the cliff is the car and it's in two decimal place so in this case here we've got to draw a diagram so I'm going to draw a cliff now we have to make that assumption oh, and Julie so here she is Julia is on top of a 30 meter cliff and we're always going to make the assumption that the cliff is 90 degrees to the ground that the car is traveling on um, so the car is say here that's my little vehicle and Julia is going to be we're going to assume that the angle of depression is actually coming from here so I'm going to actually draw it with a line so that's just going to make my life a little bit ah, that's better so here's my angle of depression but it's going to come from the horizontal so I'm just going to change color and you're going to see that this is my horizontal so my angle of depression is down below from the that so that's 47 degrees now we are also then looking for so I'm just going to draw in a straight line for my ground because that would make me feel a lot better. I think that's quite straight, but hey, there we go. So there's my straight ground. Um, so now what we can do then is work out. Here's my angle. We are actually looking for this distance. So let's call that D but it's also going to be the same here on this triangle and then this is 30 meters which means that this here is 30 meters as well so right angle so then we've got enough information and we've got a right angle triangle to work out the distance of the base of the cliff to the car now let's do this and then we'll talk about some misunderstandings so let's I've drawn a diagram draw I need to label I need to find out my ratio FSA communicate so the first thing I do is draw yes label here's my hypotenuse this is my adjacent uh, side and this is my opposite side so this is another tan question here we go so I've got 10 theta equals opposite over adjacent substitute 1047 
equals uh, opposite. This time it's 30 over D. So we're going to have to do what we call the switcher, like the switching um, equals 30 divided by 10. Uh, D is going to be uh, 27. Point nine seven, which to two decimal places is going to be d equals 27.98 meters so then i would you know do that in context um here we go so in context you have uh, therefore assuming julie measures a of d from her feet I'm going to write this down and pause. So here it is, um, my final statement in the context of the question, as also outlining my assumptions. Now, um, this part here, I want to go back to the question and talk about like a misconception really quickly before I finish up this video or a misunderstanding, something that other students were made, especially with depression, um, angles of depression, sorry. Here we go. We've got this angle here because it's from the horizon or the horizontal. Now, a few, a common error is they'll put, someone will put the 47 here. And because that's the triangle that you're working with. Once you do that, if you actually have a look that and change your ratio, it's still a tan question because we're still looking, um, it's the appropriate size, but this becomes tan 47 equals, and that's the adjacent. So it'll be, um, D over 30. Now straight away, that's different to this one and you're going to get a different answer. So be very mindful of that. If you would like to use your 47 degrees and this triangle here for whatever reason, use your alternate angle and put your 47 down here because those two are equal, okay? So here you go. These are the questions that are allocated to you for angles of elevation and depression for those lessons. Thanks guys, bye.